This animation tells the story of the renovation and maintenance project for the Maritime Museum in Stavanger. The owner of the building is the municipality of Stavanger. Before 2010, the Maritime Museum consisted of two old warehouses. In 2010, it was extended following the purchase of a neighboring building. The new building had no internal connection to the existing building. It had four floors and was in poor structural condition. The renovation and maintenance of such buildings are the responsibilities of the municipality's estate section. The project's purpose was to increase visibility and to provide a welcoming foyer. 1.5 million kroner was granted to the project by the city council. The museum's main entrance was to be moved to the newly acquired building. It was also decided to keep in touch with museum staff during the planning phase. Here are some expectations from the different stakeholders. The museum management wants to use the ground floor of the new building as a foyer with ticket sales and a cafe. The first floor would be used for exhibitions, and ideally, the opening of the renovated building should be spring 2013. The building's owner, or the municipality, wanted to use maintenance-friendly materials and finishes. B. Antiquaren, or the city's cultural heritage office, wanted to preserve as much as possible of the original building. The following conditions were in the scope of the project. In terms of fire safety, the existing conditions were insufficient and the floors above the ground floor lacked escape routes. Due to the Norwegian Planning and Building Act, the change of use from a warehouse to a museum required planning applications. The ground floor should now include a new main entrance with universal design and this should also provide access to the existing buildings. Due to the completion and opening in April 2013, the staff and management agreed to limit the renovation work to the ground floor. The other floors wouldn't be made accessible to the public due to lack of escape routes and lift. It was clear that the allocated budget was insufficient and a new proposal submitted for political consideration was approved. This resulted in a new budget of 3 million kroner. These are the success criteria. Construction of a new entrance and opening before the next tourism season. Selection of the most maintenance-free materials and solutions. Minimum changes in order to maintain the originality of the building. There was also conducted a risk assessment. Structural damage may be hidden from view and therefore a greater financial margin was allowed. It was important to adhere to the work schedule because it involved a period when the museum had to be closed and also due to already agreed upon dates for school visits. Noisy work was planned to be done after closing hours. There are two phases in this project. Engineering design phase. In this phase, all stakeholders are involved in order to ensure that their interests are safeguarded. Execution phase. Project execution involved share contracts with different contractors for different types of work. Challenges Due to little cooperation between fire safety advisors and ventilation engineers, changes in the sprinkler system had to be made. The removal of paneling revealed a wall constructed from bricks. This was easily resolved by adding a girder over the doorway. The consultant company offered another construction manager who was a recent graduate. Results The project was completed within time frame and budget. The main entrance now faced the harbor. The ground floor was given a universal design. The staff and management were satisfied during the tourist season. Insights It is important that consultants are motivated to perform well. Construction manager is a key person. Choose him or her wisely. It is preferable that the project manager has good knowledge of all areas that the project involves. There should be close cooperation.